All right, fuck it, I'm going in. I'm in love with the shape of you. I'm in love with the things you do. I'm in love with the way you move. I'm in love with the shape of you. I'm in love with the shape of you. I'm in love with the things you do. I'm in love with the way you move. I'm in love with the shape of you. I'm in love with the shape of you. I'm in love with the things you do. I'm in love with the way you move. I'm in love with the shape of you. Hold up, hold up for a minute. I said hold up, hold up for a minute. I said hold up, hold up for a minute. We can roll blunts on the shitter. What's up, guys? Today here about to do a video, a little quick install. While it's in the pluses, I think it's like plus four outside today, so that's awesome for the weather we've been having. There's the 600 double R. Obviously it's got some body work taken off it, but God, I love that bike. I can't wait to get it going again. Get that riding. Love this bike. Well, that's not the bike we're working on. The one we're working on is my Ape, RSV4 RF. We're gonna be installing a GP shift lever on it. Oh, I love seeing that, limited edition. Beautiful. So we're gonna be doing this, we're gonna be putting a new lever on, a whole new shift lever, a GP shift, swap it. So it'll be one up, five down, rather than one down, five up. So let's get to it. So the one I actually got is the Woodcraft MotoGP shift lever kit for the OEM rear sets. I don't want to spend like $800 on a set of rear sets, but I love GP shift. So I just bought Woodcraft's kit and it works with the APRC. So it will still keep my quick shifter functional keeps uh, the sensor and everything, all it does is change the arm and the actual lever itself, so let's get this stock one the fuck off. Now you don't want to forget you're going to need blue Loctite just to make sure everything stays, all the bolts stay on, it is, you know, it obviously vibrates and stuff and you don't want any Bolts coming loose when you're riding, especially on a long trip. You can use Allen keys, obviously. I'm using these. The great thing about the uh, the Woodcraft GP shifters is you can move the placement of the toe, so you can have it up a little forward, a little back, all depending on your your preference. I'm just going to try it right there for now. I can always move it. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. That's it. Really simple to install. You just want to make sure that when you put this back on that it's at a perfect 90 degree angle. You may have to move it. I will find out. You just want to grease around this part here so it moves nice. You just want to get like a nice waterproof grease. Just so it shifts nice and easy. When you put it back in, it can have less friction. That goes in there. And then because this is the OEM rear sets, we're gonna use the spacer on the other side. <laughs>
All done, there's the stock shift lever. You can see right in there. So that's it, all done, the GP, the Woodcraft GP shift lever for the OEM re rear sets. So you can see how it looks. Looks pretty good, I actually think it looks better than OEM. You just wanna make sure that you keep this at a 90 degree, nice 90 degree angle. And then the sensor can still read and your quick shifter will still work. Like I said, OEM rear sets. But now it's properly done with uh, GP shift where I can still use my quick shifter. So that's awesome. Fuck, I love this bike though. My God, so much stuff I want to get done to it. <sighs> so much stuff I want to do. Poor girl. Oh, I do have one more. One more upgrade. Hola. So yes, I am very happy with what I've done. Got the GP shift lever on. It was really simple. You guys could see step by step I did it. Any monkey could do it. You just, you know, they give you all the bolts and it doesn't take very long at all. It took me longer because I forgot the grease inside the house. That's about it. So, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys liked it. I can't wait to go fucking riding again and rip the shit out of this bike. Tons of fun. It's still hard to believe in first gear this thing does 160 kilometers an hour in first gear. It's fucking nuts. I still can't believe it. I can't believe I bought this fucking thing. Fuck. My dick's real hard right now, just... Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. It's much appreciated, especially with the new YouTube rules that are coming out, so... Check out my other videos, and there's going to be tons of great videos coming out, so... That's pretty much it. All done. God, I love those forged rear wheels too. So light. Couple pounds each rim lighter than normal cast aluminum rims. Oh. Is it just me or is that tail real sexy? I love the tail of this. I have yet to even put on the rear seat, but that's it guys, ride safe. Peace.